works of art or do they tarnish the history and the charm of Santa Fe? That's the debate tonight in the City Different as an art gallery owner fights to keep several murals on the outside walls of her gallery. The city wants them gone. News 13's Nancy Laughlin's live in the Newsplex with that story. Dean, a gallery owner says she hired a half dozen artists to help them out in a very tough economy. But it's where she hired them to paint that is getting her into trouble. Art, eyesores, controversy. This is really upsetting to me. Liza Williams is the owner of the Liza Williams Art Gallery in Santa Fe. On the inside, you can see the work of many local artists. On the outside, you can too. And that's the problem. At the time when we were painting the murals, because there were already murals, in the area, and even next door, I, I didn't know about the rule that you have to ask permission. And Liza didn't ask the city for permission when she had the murals painted this summer. She bought the gallery in July on Old Pecos Trail and Old Santa Fe Trail, smack dab in the middle of a very historical part of Santa Fe, a city known worldwide for art and culture. Some of my artists, other artists, were not able to make their mortgage payments, and I just decided I would put as many people to work as I could until the money ran out. Liza says she spent about $3,500 on the half dozen murals. Murals she thought were okay to paint because there was already one of an angel on the building next door. But when someone complained to the city, Liza was told this week her murals have to go. In Santa Fe, our ordinance for historic preservation are very strong and uh, we, we feel it's very important to, to abide by those. The city says on historical buildings like Liza's, those thick adobe walls should stay traditional and brown. This city is, a, you know, is one of the top destinations in the world for a reason and, and our historic preservation of our architecture is very important. Now, Liza says she does plan to go to the city council in the next 30 days to appeal being red tagged so she can keep those murals. Back to you. All right, Nancy, thank you. City leaders say she can appeal, but if the city denies that appeal, the murals will have to go.